Grant Warner. I'm Pastor Jimmy Pickett, and the verse I'm going to share with you today is in 2 Chronicles, I'm sorry, 1 Chronicles chapter 23, verse 30. Now, if you ever wanted to know how to start a prayer, this is some really good advice for you today. And to stand every morning to thank and praise the Lord, and likewise in the even. Folks, you should always start off in your prayer life thanking God. Thank Him for your home that you have. Thank Him for the job that you have. Thank Him for your vehicle. Thank Him for your healthy uh, kids and grandkids. Or, or be thankful that your parents are still in your life or your wife. Folks, we have got to be thankful because we are nothing without God. And we would have nothing without God. Uh, now, are you wanting to do that? Or, or do you murmur and complain to God all the time? And uh, folks, you know, he, he is our Heavenly Father, no different than our parents. Um, and, and He loves you. So don't complain and murmur. What you need to be doing is be thankful to God for everything that you are and everything that you have. And the other thing I want to point out about this verse is it's talking about in the morning. To me, that ought to be the first thing that you do. I mean, if you don't drink coffee, get you some juice, tea, whatever you do, but, but sit down. And, and pray and put God first. Start your day off with God and you will see how much better it is uh, when you're out in the world and you got all these trials and tribulations, folks. And then it says in the evening, pray to God before you go to bed. Be in the Word of God and meditate. Start your day with Him and let it end with Him. Can I get an amen? Amen. Hey, if this has edified you today, hit your share button. Hit your share button. God's children are starving to death today for the Word of God and for peace and hope. Uh, folks, me and my wife love you guys so very much, and we're praying for you and your families each and every day. Hey, God bless you, and thank you for spending this time with me in the Holy Word of God.